Then there was a man, his name was Barsisa. Barsisa was a devoted worshiper for 70 years in his temple. All he does is worship Allah Azza wa Jal. And that made the shaitan furious. He tried to make him mix with people, he couldn't. He tried to make him stop worshipping, he couldn't. He tried to make him stop making dhikr, he couldn't. But he did not stop. Then he came up with a very smart idea. There were three brothers that wanted to travel and go for jihad. So they came to Barsisa and they said, Yeah, Barsisa, you are the most pious person that we know. And we are going for jihad and we have our sister that we do not know where to keep her while we are away and you are the only person we trust. He said, no way, I will never accept a woman in my house. Anytime there's a man and a woman, the third is their shaitan. No way, no how. Please, this and that. They said, no way, he said. So they said, okay, how about we get her a house next to you and you just check up on her every once in a while. After long conversation, Arsisa agreed. Now the shaitan came to him. Yeah, but Cesar, the woman is on her own. Maybe she needs some food. Why don't you go? Just put the food at the door and knock and run. Don't look, don't do anything. Don't uh, fall into any kind of haram. But Cesar started every day, take some food, knock at the door and run back to his temple. A few weeks later, the shaitan came and he asked but Cesar, what if the woman Something's wrong with her. Maybe she did not pick up the food. Maybe uh, she left the house. Just check up on her, knock at the door and wait till she says you hear a voice and then khalas you read. So, Narcisa took the food, dropped it at the door, knocked and wait. Ah, he heard, his vo he heard her voice and he went back now. He liked her voice. He prays, he hears her voice. He looks up, he hears her voice. So the shaitan came to him two, three weeks later. Look at the shaitan, step by step. He said, you know, now it's almost over two, three months and the girl is by herself. She's probably bored and you are a very pious man. When you knock at the door and you uh, just wait until she opens the door, you check up, make sure she's fine, she's okay, and then you leave. So, Arsisa went, knocked at the door, she opened the door. How are you? How's everything? Good, alhamdulillah, left. He kept on doing that for a while and then the shaitan came back again. He said, you know what? You are a very pious man and you're not going to do any haram. Go and sit with her, chat with her. She probably needs some company. How long she's been? She probably missed her brothers. So, Arsisa came and she said, come in. And now he sits with her again. Day, two, three, four, five days. Until one day, Barsisa got up and hugged her and kissed her. And astaghfirullah, he came back to his temple. How did I do that? Then the shaitan came and whispered, Oh, now you are a very uh, great worshiper. You've been worshiping for 70 years. What is this sin going to do in your ocean of good deeds? He continued. And then Barsisa committed the fahisha with that woman. A few months later, the woman came to him and said, Yeah, Barsisa, I am pregnant. Barsisa went crazy. The shaitan came to him and said, What if the brothers come back now and find out what you have done with their sister? So the only solution now, go and kill her and kill her baby. So Barsisa went and killed the woman and killed the baby and buried them. The brothers came back excited. They haven't seen their sister for a long time. Yeah, Barsisa, where's our sister? He started crying. Your sister got very sick and she died and I buried her. They thanked him and everything and they went. When they went, the shaitan came to every single one of them and told him that this guy is lying. And to prove that he's lying, go and check this place. You will find that your sister got pregnant from him and she had a baby. So when they got up and they said, oh, we all saw the same dream. They all went to that same place and they found their sister right there buried and the baby next to her. They went and they got Barsisa and he confessed. And they were so furious that they wanted to kill Barsisa. Shaitan came to him and he said, you know who I am? I'm the one who whispered to you from day one. And now they're going to kill you. And I can save you. So Barsisa said, how? What, what should I do? He said, make one sajda for me and I will save you. 
October Sisa made sujood to the shaitan and the brothers killed him. So he died on shirk after 70 years of strict worship died on shirk my beloved brothers and sisters this is how the shaitan works step by step he comes to the boy and he tells him look at that girl first look and the girls looks back and then one text and then one meeting no 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 don't meet in private no no meet in a public library everybody can see you and then maybe one day the library is closed let's go to the coffee shop and oh we are studying uh, we're just sharing information we're not doing anything and then you know one touch of the hand and this and until something evil takes place